Everybody, I just thought of a pretty cool idea. My voice is getting deeper. I'm going to become a senior real soon. <clears throat> so here we go. Snappic, right? I thought of why not record a video of how long it takes to render the video when you switch over from 60 frames per second to 30 frames per second. So let's go ahead and dive into it. I have my dashboard right here. I'm going to go ahead and select a template. All right, we're going to choose a 360 template. And I'm going to go with a uh, fast, slow boomerang just for the sake of the video. And we're going to use portrait mode. Okay. I'm going to use the portrait mode. And right here where the frame rate is at, smooth means it's going to be recording at 60 frames per second. And it's going to export the video at 60 frames per second. There you go. That's correct. It's going to be exporting the video at 60 frames per second, which is going to give you a really smooth, high quality video. For the recording, recording duration, I'm going to bump it up. I usually like recording for at least 10 seconds. Okay, so that adjustment has been made. And then I'm gonna go over to the timeline. And this video is a lot shorter than I us what I usually would go with. So let's crank this up to like 21 seconds total time. Cause I feel like a 15 second video might be a little too short. So let's, let's hook people up and find here. Let's go ahead and make this, uh, there you go. So that's gonna switch us over. Okay, that's giving us more time. And then we're gonna slow this one down as well. Okay, so now we're at 18 seconds. 18 seconds is not bad. Let's see if we can push it to like just a little over 19 seconds. Let's see, move that over there. All right, so we're at 21 seconds. This means, guys, that when the video finishes rendering, the playback is going to be a total of 21.6 seconds long. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and save that. All right, and this is the video that we went with. I'm going to go ahead and save it right here. Now let's jump over to the application. I'm using Snappic. I'm going to go ahead and include the Snappic promo code in the description box so that you guys can get 10% off your monthly subscription. Before I move forward, let's this uh, let's go to settings and remove the Wi-Fi. You know, because in, in most cases, you're going to be running off your cellular service. So let's uh, look for the Wi-Fi right here. Uh, right here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and deselect the Wi-Fi. So now I'm just running off cellular service. All right, sweet. I'm going to go ahead and open up Snappic, dive into that event. And then I'm going to choose my rear camera. Let's go ahead and select the rear camera right in there, rear camera. I'm going to start the booth right there. And it's loading those event resources uh, we just did. So we're going to start the booth and select the actual template we just worked on together, which is called the 360 Fast Slow Boomerang right there. All right, let's go ahead and rock with it. Remember, we're going to record for 10 seconds. The countdown is only three seconds. So let's go ahead and wait for those 10 seconds and see how fast this thing renders off of just cellular service using a standard iPhone 14. I recently got this iPhone 14. I'm recording with an iPhone 13 right here, right now. So as you guys can see, the rendering speeds are incredibly fast. Uh, even for a video that's over 20 seconds long, shot at 60 frames per second. So by the time people finish putting away their props, their video is done. You can airdrop it right away by just going here and airdropping it, okay? So that's cool. I'm gonna go ahead and retake the video, but this time around, we're going to go ahead and select that same one here, which is this one. But we're going to switch it over to normal, which is only 30 frames per second. It's not going to look as smooth. However, it is twice as small when it comes to the file size. So it should download a little bit faster. I'm going to hit save. And I'm going to hit save right there too. Everyone calls. By the way, guys, if you're watching this video, please don't call my business phone line to ask me for assistance. I'm not technical support. I'm just a guy that's sharing all the good stuff with you guys. You can always reach out to Snappic Technical Support, which is the best technical support in the industry, hands down. If you guys are brand new to Snappic, you guys know what I'm talking about. Just reach out to them and they'll reply within two minutes. It's pretty amazing. I'm going to go to uh, refresh. Make sure we captured those settings. And I'm going to go to start booth. All right. And then I'm going to go to start booth right here again. I'm going to select that same template we just revised a little bit to 30 frames per second. I'm going to go ahead and hit that. And now we're going to tap to record. We're going to record for 10 seconds. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, record for 10 seconds. By the way, if you guys can please help me out with hitting the thumbs up button. It doesn't cost you anything and it really helps me. It motivates me, honestly, what it really does. Because I know that you guys are watching and enjoying this information. All right, so the rendering speed is crazy fast. And so... Yeah, definitely a little faster than exporting the videos at 60 frames per second. So I wanted to show this video uh, off to you guys for the fact that I felt like, man, this, is, this could be useful information.
because I know that there's other application where the rendering process takes a very, very long time. And also, I take my, my laptop to events just in case I need to make subtle little changes just like that. Uh, it's, it's extremely easy. Uh, I can actually just get rid of this since I won't be using it anymore and I'll keep the rest that I've been working on and just hit save and I'm ready to go. All I have to do is go to my phone now and hit refresh. So I would just have to exit any changes that I made, put in my uh, password there and just hit, hit refresh right there and then start the booth again. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Like I said, if you guys can please help me with the like button right now, that would be dope. If you guys have questions regarding this, Go ahead and list them on the comment box below so that we can dive into those questions. Meaning you need a haircut, girl. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Take care. Peace. Good luck on your next event. All right.